guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be putting together the ultimate drugstore starter kit. I do these videos, try to do them once a year to do a complete updated version, but I haven't, I feel like I haven't done this in a long time. We're gonna be filling up our makeup bag. This one's from Amazon. It's super affordable. Hopefully they still have it. If they do, I'll make sure, obviously link it down below or something very similar. But I bought this like a while back and I've really been enjoying it. They have these slots that you can adjust. They have the top pieces you can pack with your brushes, lip products, even a pocket here. So we're gonna be filling this bad boy up with all the new drugstore makeup. I just went by CVS just because I wanted, I get a lot of new drugstore makeup in PR, but I just wanted to make sure I had everything super up to date because I didn't wanna really do repeated items in the past. I wanted this to be a fresh, new drugstore makeup bag that we are filling up. The only thing I really didn't find is like a new drugstore foundation, which is what I was really hoping to find, but girl, I didn't find one. Also, I couldn't find a nude bronzer. It, uh, it was lame. Anyways, other than that, I found a ton of new stuff. We're gonna be diving in, we're gonna be going over. I hope you guys have missed my makeup videos because I'm back with one. And be sure and subscribe to my channel before you leave. Join the Larly Fam Jam today for more videos like this. And last announcement, this top is so cute. It just dropped on my hanger straps, like hello, hi here to ruin your day. Just dropped on Nitty Patootie. I'll also link it down below. <sighs> I think that's all the announcements I have. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right in. What is up everybody? We are here, we're at CVS. I just wanted to pop into a drugstore and make sure there was nothing that was new and fresh that we didn't need to add to this kit to do an appropriate, really good, new, fresh drugstore starter kit, so. We're gonna go see what they got to make sure we get all the new new up in this kit. And then I'm probably gonna put some of it on because I don't have any makeup on yet. I'll put on a little bit of it so I can show you guys how I'm using these products. I have a couple products back home too that I'm gonna be adding to the kit. I'm gonna show you guys some good makeup bags. It's gonna be all the zhuzh in this video. So stay tuned, let's head in. Next is one of my favorite drugstore brands just because I feel like the quality is always there but it's also really affordable. I already have a lot of this stuff at home that we're gonna be adding to the kit but I did want to pick this up this liner I know this is a good one. Oh my god why is this so pretty I love these colors right here for fall the lip section is pretty iconic over here in the next section so I'm gonna grab a couple of these and then they even have the butter glosses all right guys we're definitely grabbing one of these these liners are so good for the waterline I feel like these blush selection and colors are kind of comparable to like the Patrick Taws or more the higher one in ones at Sephora blush is so in um, the fit me is just really good quality so I'm gonna pick up two of these oh my gosh these colors are so pretty all right guys they have all the colors here this is a really nice more full coverage yet hydrating concealer so we're gonna grab natural light and a medium beige and add them to our cart we are back from the drugstore. It is time to get ready. So I bought a couple different items to get started with three. One intrigued me. This is the Neutrogena Radiant Primer in Serum, Serum, Serum Healthy Skin. It looks like this. It really looks so, so pretty. So I wanted to try it out as my hydrator and primer. But I quickly wanted to mention too by e.l.f. If you weren't interested in that, e.l.f. E.l.f. E.l.f has some options that are quite affordable. This is a cream moisturizer, which I am gonna add a little bit of this on. It's a really great hydrant. And then this one is the putty primer. I mean, this one is no secret. Everybody knows about it. My personal fave, I think is the Lumi or the original. So I picked up the Lumi. Other great items you can pop into your bag. So I'm gonna add, I'm just super, super dry. I just got back from a little vacay and my skin is like, girl, give me that moisture. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of this e.l.f. one on. Mm, oh my gosh, my skin is like, thank you, especially that under eye. And then the more skincare and the better you do your face, the better the makeup's gonna look. And I didn't go in too heavy because we're gonna be adding this serum primer, we're gonna be adding foundation and all that stuff. So you don't wanna overdo it on the skincare, but now we're gonna be using a little bit of this serum slash primer slash hydrant. Hashtag this video is not sponsored. I just went to CVS and found this stuff. Oh my God, it's so pretty. Yeah, do you see that? That looks so pretty. Look at that, rub this in. I feel like this is gonna give us an extra layer of some hydration, which, hello, we need. Oh yeah, 
It also smells pretty good. I mean, it's like barely a scent, but like there's some zhuzh there that I'm enjoying. My forehead needs the serum. Wow, look at the glow. Oh my gosh, all down my neck. Okay, so the serum is a hot yes so far. Like I'm a little obsessed. Oh my gosh. Okay, plus this. So we're adding these to our makeup bag. Next, I am going to do my brows. So NYX has the like brow freeze product to get the fluffy brow but I have tried time and time and time again to get it. I've gone to multiple stores. I look for it today. I can't find it anywhere. I recommend it if you can get your hands on it. I mean, I haven't tried it yet, but it's like the only drugstore brow freeze product. So unfortunately, I'm just gonna have to add a little of my own because that is how I do, like, like to do my brows. However, if you do have a favorite um, drugstore brow gel, please leave it down below or just like a good option. You could also do soap brows, but like traveling with a bar of soap or like, I don't know. So we were all doing before they came out with all like the brow putties. Okay guys, so for my brows, I just run the brow freeze through. I'm using the ABH brow freeze. Look at this piece of hair. You can't see it, it's like shooting straight up. And I wish I had a drugstore. This will be the only part out of this process that isn't drugstore. Okay, we have our brows on. So let's move on to a actual drugstore brow. Prada. Okay, so you may have already guessed it. I'm gonna go in with the Lift and Snatch. This product is from NYX, and I've talked about it a bit. It is a newer product, but it is a total dupe for the Glossier Brow Flicked. The color I'm using mine in is Brunette. Hello, because I'm Brunette. <laughs> So I'm going to use the magnifying side of my mirror. And this is so nice because you can create these little hair-like strokes. Leaves the brow looking quite natural. So like, I'm so into it. Now I really want to move on and do our eyes first. Or should we do our face first? I think we're going to go ahead and do our eyes. So for my eye primer, we're going to kind of two-in-one it by using the Conceal and Perfect from Milani. We're going to use this as our eye base. Now this one is in the shade 135 Medium Beige. So it's not so, so bright. And I feel like this will be great just to cover any redness or darkness on my eyelid and I'm just gonna put it on with my finger this is definitely a clutch item to have in the kit like it has such great coverage too for eyeshadow I am pretty excited because I found this palette and this is exactly what I was looking for for an actual kit something you could use every day but yet it's quite affordable and good quality so these NYX eyeshadows, I have quite a few of these and they're amazing. So this one is called the um, number 12 Ultimate Utopia Palette. I picked it up at CVS by the way, but I'll try to link it down below if I find it at a store. But what I like about it is literally all your neutrals that you need up in here. And then you have these pops of colors and some deeper shades to create. I'm like, was I even on camera? But shades to create whatever look you need to create. So I feel like this is kind of has like so many colors in it. But first I'm gonna go in with this shade. It's like a warm salmony caramel. I'm just gonna take my E18 blender. Now this shade is quite warm but I think it's gonna be really beautiful. Oh yes, honey, this is what we wanted. And I'm just gonna blend her. Look at this lash, oh my God, I'm heartbroken. Do you guys see that? Oh, there it goes. I used to use Latisse all the time, so I'm like tempted to like start using Latisse again just because I'm like, girl, I need some more lashes up in this house. Because this color is like so soft on my skin tone, I kind of went in liberally with it and just buffed it out everywhere except for really down on my lid, but it's a really great transition shade. And honestly, if you're in a hurry, like boom, this with a little bit of mascara, looking great. Now I'm gonna bump down into this warm Sienna shade here. I don't even know what look I'm gonna do. I'm like, what do we wanna do? Do we wanna do soft glam for like everyday drugstore moment? This green right here, I think I'm gonna go into the green, guys. I really wanna tap into it. So we're going in with the warm Sienna that I just showed you and we're just buffing that, but I'm not going in with as much of it because it is quite deeper and a bit more pigmented, but we're just layering up the shades. Now that everything is just like really softly blended, I kind of want to swatch some of these colors just to see what's going to happen. I feel like this guy over here would be the best for a soft glam look. I'm loving this green and then we have the gold. Wow, the green is like, hello. I mean, they're all really pigmented. Like even this matte is so pigmented, this green, this gold, wow. Now how am I supposed to choose what to do right now? Maybe I'll do the green. 
I just kind of want a green moment. Like I want that moment for me. I feel like I'm just gonna use my finger to start and see where that takes us, just packing it on. Oh my gosh, yes, look at this. And now I just wanna take a little brush so I can make sure I'm getting it all the way into the inner corner and then really buffing it out too. I wanna to bring it up high. So that way when my eyes are just like open, you can still really like catch that green color. So now I'm gonna wipe away any excess like that. And this is why we don't have our foundation on yet. <laughs> and now I wanna go in with this deeper chocolatey matte brown just to kind of give the liner, lash line, a little dimension. I'm gonna be using my L, this one's a little dirty, that's okay. This is my L17 brush. And I'm just gonna get it on the tip of the top of the brush. You see that? And what I like to do is just like kind of push it in. I'm gonna take an angled brush just to get the darker eyeshadow closer in here, in the inner corner, so that way we don't make too much of a mess. And now I'm gonna take this cloth and just clean up a bit where I winged it out. All right guys, I have curled my lashes. We have our wings on. I am gonna be using one of my favorite drugstore mascaras. This one's On The Rise by NYX. I've been using it for a long time. And it has a plasticky, not really bristly brush, but it is still kind of bristly. And I like this one because I feel like it actually like coats the lashes really well, but at the same time keeps them separate where they don't get too spidery or clumpy. So I've been using this one for a minute and I don't know, I'm just like kind of obsessed. Like, can you guys see this? Oh, so good. Okay, we're gonna be letting our eyelashes dry before we add falsies, but we're gonna now move on to our face makeup, finally. So Oma Beauty makes one of my favorite drugstore foundations. You guys can find this at Walmart. Really good. This one is in Honey Honey T1. I'm gonna be using the Laura Lee Los Angeles. Mine is quite dirty, but this is our beauty sponge. I'm gonna avoid this area. I just got something on it right now while doing my makeup and I don't know what it was, so I'm a little devastated. But that's what I'm gonna be using today. This one is not exactly like super full coverage, but it is super beautiful on the skin and it blends out so easy. So I think it'd be great for like a really beautiful everyday foundation to add to your kit. You can build this one up though. That is the one good thing about it. So you can kind of almost get the coverage you want. I mean, I just, when I put this on, I just don't count on like super full coverage, but as you can see, it is not light coverage, um, but you will see a little bit of skin through, which is so beautiful. And the reason, another reason I'm adding this to kit because like it's truly just one of those products that I use all the time. And I feel like my skin just looks so glowy and pretty whenever I use it. So check it out if you're at Walmart, it's bomb. Next, we're gonna go ahead and conceal. I'm gonna go in with the Conceal Imperfect, which is what we used on our eyelids. Voila. And we're just gonna clean up over here a little bit. I'd love to see it. And now I'm just gonna take my sponge and I'm just gonna blend all of this out. And I'm just doing tapping motions. You can also do like a, one of these, like a movement. It's also great for getting like an airbrush finish, like one of those really soft finishes. I love the way this is looking. It's like all melting in so well together. I mean, honestly, like looking at this makeup look, you cannot tell it's drugstore. It all looks so high end. Okay, I believe we are blended to filth, honey. Love it, love to see it. So now we're gonna go ahead and set everything. So this recently went viral on TikTok, so I just thought, oh my God, definitely adding this to the kit. This is actually a foundation powder, so I do like to go in with a lighter amount of it. I'm gonna use my L12 brush, and I'm just gonna set all of this. And we're just gonna push it in to set it. And then for bronzer, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the Rimmel Natural Bronzer. Now this one is a bit glowy, so if you're into more of a matte bronzer, this might not be your favorite, but it's like so pretty. Oh my gosh, look at this. And I'm using that same brush. 
And I love the size of this brush because I feel like it just contours perfectly. This is another great matte one if you're not into one with a little bit of sparkle. This one by Essence is super cheap. It's also huge, so you like get a ton of bronzer. I really love bronzing up my forehead, giving me a little sun kiss look. Okay, for blush, blush is in. We cannot live without blush. We cannot do without blush. I picked up two. I think both are beautiful. This one is in number 35 and number 30. So I think I'm gonna go with number 30 because it is a little bit of a, just a hair deeper than um, number 30. No, number 35 is lighter. <laughs> this one's like a little more pinky. So again, with the same brush, I like to use the same brush because I don't mind like getting a little bronzer going. And we're just gonna hit the apples of the cheek and work our way back. Um, blushes just like made their way and like, I don't know, I've like fallen in love with them. I also hit the nose a little bit. Girl, we are glowing. See, this is that Rimmel. It like puts a little bit of a glow on your face. I love it. So we're blushed the house and now we're gonna add a little bit of concealer, <laughs> a little bit of highlighter. I tried it. This is Skin Lights by Revlon. This is number 201 Daybreak. Ooh, yes. I've used these before and they're like, they're no game, okay? They're no game. I mean, they are like, hello, we are here. We are here to show you the world. Of course, we're just gonna light up the cheeks. And I really like to rub in my highlighters and make sure they're really soft so you can't really tell where they start and stop. They just kind of melt into the skin. My nose definitely doesn't look natural by any means, but everywhere else will. Just so I look overall like a little bit glowy. And now what I'm gonna do is take a little bit of our Palta from L'Oreal. And I'm gonna go back in with the LL Beauty sponge and we're just gonna make sure we clean this up just a little bit because we added so much bronzer and all that good stuff. So this powder is just bomb for that. Highly recommend it. They have a lot of different shades. Forgot to use this brush, which I'm bummed about, but this is one of like the best brushes from the drugstore. It's like so freaking soft and it feels so luxe. I think that's my favorite thing about it. It's like very luxe feeling. We love feeling rich, but not spending our money. <laughs> Wow. Setting spray from e.l.f. This is the Stay All Night Microfine Misting Setting Spray. So I think this is an attempt for the dupe for Urban Decay. So I'm gonna, before I put my lashes on, I'm gonna go ahead and really set everything. And this is gonna kind of knock off some of the powdery look we have here. Okay, the mister's like a 10 out of 10. It smells so good. Oh my gosh, I could just spray that on my face all day. Wow, that feels really good on the skin. So we are letting ourselves dry. Can we get a fan in the house? Where's my fan? Oh. Yes, ma'am. Okay, now we need lashes. Okay, I'm gonna be using these. These are a brand new lash from, hello, from Kiss. These are the MLBB, my lash, but better. This is the thinnest fan ever. So these are supposed to look really natural, a great everyday lash, something you can find at the drugstore. Hmm. You already know I'm up in it. You know I love it. I like a more natural lash these days. And these lashes are just so soft and natural. I think they look so pretty. And by the way, I literally can't even feel it on my eye. It's so lightweight. And I feel like it just gives me way more volume through here versus this eye. I also just wanna go in with a little bit more of our highlighter and I just wanna add it right here in that inner corner just to give us a little more pop. For my waterline, I'm going to fill in with the Maybelline. This is the Hyper Easy uh, pencil liner, and it's so bomb. I actually picked this up today, but I've definitely had this product in the past. I'm now going to go in and mix our two browns together, and I'm just going to hit that lower lash line. And now I'm gonna take my NYX mascara and just pop it on my lower lashes. And then we're gonna do lips and or and then I'm gonna and then hang tight because I'll show you you at the end me packing my makeup bag so you guys get a visual of what that's gonna be like. So let's do lips. Um, I'm gonna use my ColourPop. This is BFF number four. This is a great brown lip liner. I've been using it for a long time. It's super, super affordable. And we're just gonna pop this on. And now the real job here will be kind of blending our lips. So I bought some new lip products to try out that are super affordable. First, I'm gonna go in with this really nude color. This is Never Nude by Wet n Wild. It looks so 
pretty. It's like a peachy, super light nude. Oh yeah. This color is so nice. Like I'm probably gonna go back and buy all of them. Ah, I'm like, oh my God. Like, good Lord, this is so pretty. It's actually really creamy and it's not like, I don't know, sometimes uh, nude lips like are so matte, it like pulls your lip off and you feel like, not at all with this one, I'm obsessed. Okay guys, this is our finished look. I think it looks so beautiful. I feel like we look like we have a high-end makeup look on. So now I'm gonna show you me packing everything. I'm just gonna do a sped up camera overview so you can get a vision of how I like to use this for your kit. Um, and yeah, and that will be it for the video. And I'll also have everything linked down below if you're interested or you can just head to your local drugstore. So let's film that. Alrighty, here is our makeup bag so far. I just put this in this section. I have my serum I'm gonna put here. I have, this is a little bit bigger, but a face cream is just like in demand. I'm now gonna put some of my powder products in these little slots, which are great so they won't slide around and get broken, as well as my little highlighter from Revlon fits perfectly in there. I'm going to put two lip products right here, two different nudes, so we have options. We have our Oma Beauty foundation, which I love so much. I'm actually gonna lay it down so it doesn't get pumped. I need to find the lid to it. Just pretend we have a lid, okay? And then I'm gonna set my e.l.f. setting spray right there. I know we used our lashes today, but just for representation, these are also great lashes I picked up, so I thought I'd pop them in there. We can't forget about this top part, which is great for longer products like lip liners and mascara, which you can organize in here. I'm going to lock in my matte bronzing powder and put my bigger one over here in this part. Over here, I just put lip liners and I put my mascara, my liner, and my brow product. And then over here, I will save the space for some brushes. Okay, I just added a couple face brushes. You could add more into this part. Eye brushes. And then I put a liquid liner in case you wanted to do a pin liner. This one by NYX is really great. So I'm gonna put that right in there so we have it all organized. We still have so much space to go. I ended up putting the lash glue in with the lashes and I put the bronzer at the bottom just so it fits perfectly. So I'm gonna add an extra concealer right there. And then we even have more space here and here for more product. So these two colors are so pretty from NYX right here. I thought it would be great to add in a couple more lip products just so we have options. And I'm also gonna add in a lash curler as well as some tweezers in this part here. And I ended up just moving around the bronzer here. We still have like so much space in here just so this fits a little better. And I'm just gonna pop in a little sharpener. So this is our kit. We pretty much have everything we need. Did also add like some lip balms. I mean, you could add so much to this still, but this is kind of what we use today. So it's all loaded in our kit and it's safe to zip up. Okay guys, we have everything. Look at our bag. Yes, we totally just did this today. It looks so good. Um, I love the way the makeup came out and be sure and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. It zips right up by the way, but that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed another makeup video. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for enjoying the glam. <laughs> and I will see you in my next video.